And after that shooting today, investigators say the gunman then rushed to his Acton home, setting it on fire. The situation there was so dangerous, a bomb squad and a SWAT team was called in. Well, they soon made that deadly discovery in the backyard. And CBS 2's Lori Perez is live in the neighborhood right now with the very latest tonight. Lori. Jeff, just a few minutes ago, we saw the coroner's van leave this neighborhood. This is the neighborhood where the suspected shooter and off-duty firefighter reportedly lived. The home that burned is about 700 feet behind me up this road. This is Bent Spur Road. It's a remote rural neighborhood, and it remains blocked off tonight. Investigators are up there trying to understand the unthinkable. In the still smoldering rubble, investigators have so much to uncover about a heartbreaking day that unfolded late this morning. Maybe the suspect is saying he's going to shoot at anybody that approaches. As first responders raced to this burning home in Acton, they were facing danger times two, a raging fire in a massive home and a possible active shooter. Firefighters turned to a strategy usually used for remote brush fires so they would not be targeted, making water drops on a house. That's very unique, very rare. To knock down the flames so deputies and the SWAT team could get in safely. Here, investigators say they found the body of the suspect shooter from the Station 81 shooting, dead in a pool from a self-inflicted shot to the head. Not long after, they believe he went to his own station house and opened fire, killing a fellow engineer and wounding a captain. This is the most difficult day that I personally have ever experienced with the Los Angeles County Fire Department seeing our brothers and our sisters in harm's way in this manner. Neighbors say it's unclear who owns the home that burned. There have been so many owners. They say it was featured in a design magazine. Online listings show it sold last July for 700 grand. Locals were stunned by the response today. They had a, uh, an armored vehicle out here, and they were carrying their weapons when we first saw them. Even more so to learn the suspect and victims were firefighters. These people just work to help save us, and they become targets. Targets who are family to their fellow firefighters, a family now in mourning. There is a mother or father, a husband or wife, children that are grieving beyond words can even comprehend right now. Uh, that's hard to swallow. Now, the neighbors we spoke with said they did not know who bought that house back in July. They were even uncertain if anyone had been living there full time. In Acton, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Lori, thank you very much.